Leave it tomorrow is June 1st, and there is a new movie coming to theaters. It is called The Emma Smith Movie. Brittany Wiscombe is joining me now. She's the director of that, and Shona Moyer is the lead actress. You actually play Emma in this film. Brittany, let's start with you. What is the story? Well, In Emma's Footsteps is about Emma Smith, the wife of the Prophet Joseph Smith, after he dies, because uh, there's so many questions about that period of her life, um, and so that's really what we focus on. Where did you get the material? Oh, history. I was lucky enough to be able to um, consult with another writer, and then we had another writer on the project who had his research, and also the Joseph Smith Jr. and Emma Hale Smith Historical Society, which is made of, of descendants. So between all that, we got a lot of history. All right, talk about where you shot this and the process of putting a movie like this together. Um, we shot here in Salt Lake up at This Is The Place Park. And it was wonderful, and uh, but a lot of work. And so we've been, you know, really just working to getting it ready, and it's finally ready to come out tomorrow. What is it like to play Emma, Shona? Um, it makes me very grateful for my life when I play her life, because her life was a lot harder than mine. Um, it, it was an amazing experience, and um, yeah, I really enjoyed it, and really enjoyed getting to know such an amazing woman. How do you get into a character like that? Um, honestly, we shot in these amazing locations where all of the, um, every visual thing that I could see was in that time and all of the costumes were so, you know, to the period. And then also I had to do um, an old time accent. And so everything brought me into that. And knowing that that's so much research and everything went into the back of it, into, into the um, writing of it, I just really, I, I felt like I was really in there. It was really cool. Shona, how do you get rid of your accent <laughs> to play Emma Smith? Um, <laughs> Um, I went to BYU and I learned there, but also just a lot of practice and a lot of, yeah, it's just it's magic. You can totally slide in and out of it. Um, I could if you really wanted me. Yeah, I want to, I want to hear. I want to hear one of your lines without your accent. You'll have to watch the movie. Okay. <laughs> All right, it comes, it comes out tomorrow. What, what will viewers learn from this? Is there something, is there a message they will take away, Brittany? Absolutely. You know, I think people are going to see a different side of Emma. They're going to see in context what she went through. And I think that'll dispel a lot of um, rumors about her, a lot of perhaps bad thoughts about her, and just see what a remarkable woman she was. Because she did go through so many things and was so strong and always looking to protect and provide for her family. Did it change how either of you felt about Emma to do this film? Yes. <laughs> really? You, yes, well, I, you go on the journey with her in this movie. Yeah, I think, um, you know, I already had a, a good perspective of Emma, but it definitely deepened it because as I learned more and more, I'm like, oh, wow, this thing and this thing and this thing, one after another that she went through. It's a lot for one person. Shona, who would love to see this movie? Who should go see it Honestly, this weekend? Honestly, it is for anybody who's actually interested in the role that women play in religion and in society. And, and really, it's not, it's not from Emma's point of view. It's actually from the point of view of her mother-in-law talking about her. And unfortunately, Emma didn't write a lot down, so she's sort of written herself out of the narrative. And it's interesting to see what people say about you from a different perspective. And I think it's for anybody who has ever gone through something difficult in their life and found a way to fight through it, struggle, and sort of have a triumph in the end, because she really did that. In Emma's footsteps, everybody, it opens tomorrow, June 1st, at Megaplex Theaters right here in Utah. You can take a peek at the trailer. There it is, goodforutah.com slash midday, and we can link you to all of that information. Um, I'm excited for you, too, to have that come out this weekend. Thank you for joining us.